Hey guys, welcome to Cognitive Connections. I already started shuffling and the King of Candles came out first, so King of Wands. I'm gonna pull, let's see what it's about. I feel like this person's sad. I feel like their heart burns for you. This person has a lot of passion in their heart for you. This person, when it comes to you, they feel like a hopeless romantic. They may not feel that way with anyone else, but when it comes to you, like they want to romance you. This person could have a lot of conflict around them. They could have people that don't like you or possibly a friend that does like you. These people could feel like they're in competition or like it wouldn't be fair or one person would sabotage the other person if they came towards you. And then we have the world closing a cycle. It's like this person is learning lessons in their life and they wanna close a cycle on something they're working on it they could also be leaving a job or you could be leaving a job this person could be attached to someone they could have a third party um, I feel like maybe this person's been with someone for a while or they're attached to someone very possessive. I feel like this person could do either like some kind of manipulation to them. They could play a lot of mind games with them. Um, it's causing a lot of illusions. This person can make the other person feel very incompetent. I'm just going to say it. I'm picking up like maybe this person does spell work on their partner. I'm just getting that with like her holding this candle. This could be a very deep, like passionate person they're connected to. They could be cold at times too, but like explode. I feel like this person could also drink a lot. And then we have the star. This person's in a mental imprisonment though, about closing a cycle, and they have a lot of conflict around them at the moment. Someone could be researching something or researching information on someone. This person could also be trying to send you a message soon. I feel like there's gossip and drama about some situation, and that's where a lot of conflict is with the Five of Swords and then the Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. This person's sad. They could want to write to you, like write you a letter. That's what I was trying to say. It was just 333 on the clock. You could be seeing that. But this person wants to like write to you. I was when I the first two cards I pulled it's like this person feels like a hopeless romantic when it comes to you they want to do something romantic like that if I don't fix this it's gonna annoy me the whole time I have like cotton mouth <laughs> my bad I just feel like maybe this person could be by your home um, that's the first thing I got with it, but it's the Four of Pentacles, so it's like maybe this person, one could be trying to save more money to come towards you, this person could want to like have an equal give and take with you, but on top of that, maybe this person sees you like as a possession, and if it's not them seeing you as a possession or like a soulmate or twin flame, this could be how a third party feels. Like this person is their possession. I just started getting a really bad headache right here. In my left temple, ow.
I feel like this person's heart is like turning black. Seven of Swords. There's a lot of deceit here. There could have been deceit in a marriage or a relationship. Someone could be praying for forgiveness for something. The Hierophant. Could also be Taurus, I don't know. And then the Devil. Yeah, I'm getting like a marriage because... Hold on. Oh, shit. They're giving me like... I just shuffled this deck really good. I just got a ton of signs. So the Seven of Swords, this woman looks like she's praying. This could be this toxic relationship if someone's in this toxic relationship. And this man is like looking at his wedding ring and he looks miserable. And then after that, we have the Hierophant, which can signify a marriage. And right after that, we have the Devil. And then with that, we have permit. I feel like someone could be doing something in private or literally this is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, if you want the signs, but I'm just going to read the cards. Um, this is a mess. Someone I just, I don't like talking about witchcraft on here, really. I think people can do a lot of stuff in their mind. Like, our mind's a very powerful place. We can basically create our reality, literally. Um, someone was doing something really toxic or devilish. It could have been manipulation. It could have been spell work and witchcraft. I don't usually use this deck and I did. And I'm feeling like all choked up right now, like getting into this energy, it's weird. Um, it's a scary energy. It's like someone was trying to control someone's fate. These like three women turning this wheel. You could be seeing sevens a lot, 747 or 777, 707. I feel like someone really needs to cleanse their energy or literally 808 on the clock. If you can go to a priest and have them pray on you and get blessed, because people really can be sending like toxic negative energy or like bad shit like that's why I also like don't like to accept like gifts and stuff is because you never know like what you can bring into your house there's a lot of cases and stories of demonic possession and all that kind of stuff and someone can have a lot of demons on them right now and their head can be like super confused and cloudy and just they could be angry all the time and they don't know why. It's like this person needs a clear head and they need to get away from this person and like get cleansed or something by a priest or like completely cleanse their body, clean your whole house and then sage it, open all the windows and doors, like say a prayer. I'm serious when I'm talking about like getting rid of stuff like that. Um, even if you're not religious, like I would just fight with that and try to cleanse yourself someone has some really dark entity or something like demons attached to them it's just like i feel like this thing is like following this person they're having sleepless nights or having like nightmares this person's like contemplating on their life and trying to heal and rest um But it's kind of like they have to go through this right now. It's going to make them really strong. They're still very strong. This person could have had a hard childhood. 
this person's been working on themselves. They could want to work with you or travel with you. They could need to travel. I feel like the person they're attached to, like, they could have done dark stuff. It could just be, like, manipulation. But still, that's why, like, I always recommend therapy. I like therapy. <laughs> um, just, you should, it's good to work on yourself. It makes you feel a lot better. Definitely, if you feel all, like, clouded in the head or stuck in a rut, like, exercise focusing on you and giving all the love that you would give to someone else to yourself or your pets too but definitely yourself um it's important if you tear yourself down a lot you can put a like a picture of yourself as a little kid in the mirror and how would you treat that little kid you know like what would you go back and tell your younger self treat yourself that like good way you're going to be going towards calmer waters. And you might, ex like, you could, if you were waiting for someone for a long time, like, you could expect a letter. Someone has super romantic feelings for someone else. Alright. Hope you guys have a good night. Love you.